Heike, heike, heike. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to utilize Spout Capture so that way you can actually put your live 2D models inside of Vignon, uh, mainly if you want to like uh, toggle seamlessly between 2D and 3D, or if you just want to have some fun redeems uh, that interact with your live 2D model. Um, now, I will say, this is is not a how to put your live tree model inside of Vignon as in putting the actual model file. Vignon will never support live tree models because one, licensing issues, and two, VTube Studio exists uh, and it already has all the good settings made for live 2D models basically. So no, Vignon will never have live 2D support, but of course um, you can still utilize Vignon spout capture and all that so that way you can technically put the 2D model into Vignon basically. Um, now of course you're going to have to be running uh, Vignon as well as VTube Studio as you can see. You need them both running if you want to achieve this. Um, otherwise again if you are a potato PC um, it, it depends on the model, it depends on your how potato your PC is but if you cannot run both VTube Studio and Vignon I don't recommend the setup otherwise if you are able to do it then we can continue on. Now in case you're probably wondering, how on earth is the 2D model and the 3D model tracking at the same time? As you can see in both VTube Studio and Vignon. This is actually because of VTube Studio's iOS app. I'm using the iOS app, but if you don't have an iPhone, use the Android one. I made a whole tutorial, um, not, not just VTube Studio, but other apps as well, but I do have a tutorial that shows you where, how to set up the whole VTube Studio with the program, basically. Um, so I would recommend watching that because, again, it's like, you know, I don't want to repeat myself a lot. But basically, though, um, if you know how to set up VTube Studio, you know, you should be good. Just make sure it's connected with VTube Studio itself, and then you make sure you go to, like, general settings, and then you just set up the number and all that, basically. And again, the IP address thing here, that's a local IP, not an actual IP address to my house. But either way, though, you basically just have to make sure both VTube Studio uh, is connected. And um, besides that, also, you need to get the pro license, uh, like, meaning you have to actually pay to be able to have it so it tracks on both programs. Now, for 3D, if you're tracking with 3D only, you don't have to pay, but to get it for the 2D model to move at the same time, then you're gonna have to pay. Also, in case you're wondering if vBridger can do it, no, it cannot. Unless vBridger ends up adding their VMC support, which would be really awesome, until that happens, you can't do that, which it may happen in the future. I'm not saying it's not going to happen because I heard it was going to happen, but I'm not sure when it's going to happen. But keep an eye out for your vBridger because if you use that, then wait for their VMC update and then you can use that instead. Um, but either way, though, let's go ahead and get started after that whole rambling. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to go into props, right? And then you're going to click on add prop. And then in your Vignon folder, when you... Um, when you install Vignon, uh, there should be a 2D avatar files right here. You're going to click the one that corresponds to which your whichever your 2D model uh, is from. If you're in an Enochi 2D model, use this. Otherwise, if you're VTube Studio, use this, and you can click on that. And then the next thing you're going to do, um, again, um, if you do not see your avatar moving at all, like the, the live 2D model, what you have to do is you're going to have to go into VTube Studio, click on the settings right here, click on the camera up here, and then scroll down near the bottom, and make sure that Spout 2 is activated, and also make sure you install it too in case you didn't do that. So you have to make sure this is set up. And then what you have to do, uh, so it works on transparent capture, you're going to double click, click on the green button right here for the backgrounds, scroll all the way down to color picker, select it, and then make sure that transparent and capture is set up, and make sure that the background is set to black or whichever is your avatar's out main outline color, because let's say if I were to set this to like blue, right? On Vignon, if I were to zoom in, you will see the blue outline happening right here. So I set it to black so that way, you know, it will be like much more of a match basically. So yeah. And uh, pretty much back in Vignon, you can be able to have it, uh, it should be able to work now. Otherwise, if it's not working, then try repeating the steps again. Maybe reset your computer, reset the program, you know, do some troubleshooting. It might help you out. 
But what you're going to do now is that once you see your 2D avatar moving, what you're going to then do is you're going to click on linked bone. If you want it where your avatar actually reacts with how your 3D model is, like if I were to yeet my avatar and such, you can click on the hips and you can actually, um, I'm going to go ahead and move it by this transform view here. Um, but let's say like we want it so it reacts to the 3D model basically. So if I were to go to nodes, right, and I were to go to the redeems, and I go all the way up here and yeet myself like this, um, you can pretty much see how the 2D avatar will like sort of, you know, copy sort of because it's connected to the 3D model's hips basically. So you can set that up, otherwise if you don't want that extra movement going on, if it's annoying, then just set it to world instead, that way it stays in place basically. It won't react with the yeet though, but um, if you set it up properly, it can sort of like, you can sort of fake that it is reacting to the redeems and such, so yeah. But either way though, uh, pretty much, uh, mess with the transform settings here, so in case your model is too um, small or anything like that, or you know, I do recommend also flipping it so that way it's correctly set up, unless you mirror on spout capture, but you can do this. And basically you can have it where, you know, after some setting up, it depends on your preference, so set up how you personally want it, and you can have it where your avatar will be there. Now, of course, uh, you can have it where your avatar is, you know, your 2D avatar is fully shown. So if I zoom out like this, yes, um, it can show the full body, of course, but do keep in mind that it will make you look very pixelated. So if you show only your upper body most of the time, I would recommend, uh, please make sure your live 2D model's body is you know, zoomed in. That way you don't look very pixely. I have tried increasing the resolution on VTube Studio. That does not help me. Um, maybe it could work on you, but even then, just zoom in. You're perfectly fine. It's all good. Um, but yeah, and also if you want it where your avatar is like always facing the camera, click on always face camera. That way, no matter where you are, uh, your 2D avatar will always like be there, basically. Do keep in mind, it does also change the positions here, though. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're utilizing the setting, basically, depending. So, yeah. But either way, that's pretty much just how you can set up the prop, basically, so your, your 2D model can be in Vignon. Um, and this is what I was meaning of capturing, basically. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, as I have already have uh, the VTube Studio prop set up here basically. Mine's all the way in the back though, because again, it's a lot more bigger. But pretty much though, um, you know, set up however you want basically. And now we can set it, uh, now we can go ahead and set up a node, so that way um, you can have it where it can properly toggle. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this for now. I'm going to go into nodes here. Now of course, if you are a beginner in Vignon, please check out my other tutorials and practice and take your time on Vignon if you don't know how to use it. Otherwise, if you have a basic understanding, right here, this node, um, I will put this in the description in case you don't know how to make it, but there's a node right there. This is a basic setup. You could do a lot more with this. I'm going to say that you could set up a timer or an, all that other stuff, but this is just a base template. It's a template for toggling. So. Uh, pretty much application start, you'll have it where this is set up to your main 3D model. This will be for the prop. You're gonna have, you're gonna have to set this up, um, when you do download my node graph, cause they're, you know, the prop here will be misregistered. So make sure to select VTube Studio prop for your end. Um, and this will be set to hidden, so that way it doesn't load automatically unless you prefer it. If you prefer that it stays, that it turns on the moment you turn on the program and such, then set it to visible instead. Again, it depends on what you want to use it for. But what you're gonna then do after that is on load avatar, you should have it where it has uh, Invisa avatar. So you're gonna click on load and you're gonna go into the Vignon folder here and then you're going to click on 2D avatar files and then click on Invisa avatar. This is the one that will basically hide your main avatar basically. That way uh, the 2D model will be the one showing and you can still have of course your tracking there to sort of fake the redeems basically. So there's that and then of course again v 2 a prop this will be toggling it basically or you could just set it to visible either one but yeah but either way once I right click on channel points and make sure everything's set up if I click on send signal it should have it where now my um my 2d avatar is basically 
in front. Again, you may still have to do some further adjustments if preferred um, to make it look much better. But either way, um, there you go. You got your 2D model in Vignon. And pretty much you can now have it um, where if you go to redeems here, you can set up things like, let's say, um, I don't know, let's say we want to uh, drop a box on my model then it can sort of fake it. Do keep in mind, yes, it is going to be, you know, it's going to be misaligned because, again, it's a 2D avatar. Or, well, again, I can have it where it's closer because I set mine pretty far away. Um, it depends on your settings, of course, but just keep in mind, too, that, again, it's not going to really interact with VTube Studio as in it will make your avatar fly away and such. There's another program that is made specifically to do that for uh, Live 2D Malls. I won't say the name of the program, but I'm pretty sure you know which program I'm talking about, though. Um, but pretty much... Uh, just keep in mind that is a downside, but it's okay. Um, I mean, I guess if you know your way with WebSockets, maybe you could think of something, but even then, that's not possible. Um, but either way, uh, you can be able to have it, let's say, another thing. Uh, let's say we want to toss uh, snowballs at my character. You can do that. Uh, or you can even do confetti. So yeah. Um, so you can do pretty much all that stuff basically, uh, thanks to Vinyam. Again, it's, you know, not super perfect, but it really depends on how you personally set it up and all that, so yeah. Uh, but I do hope at least this helps you out, and of course, uh, if you go back here and you click on Application Start, you can be able to load your avatar back to how it is basically. So yeah, I hope that this tutorial helps you out, uh, since I know a lot of people were asking for this, and I hope you know, again, it shows you at least the basics on getting that set up. And yeah, let me know if you have any other questions. I highly recommend if you do have, like, very complex Vignon questions, please join Superdrill Discord server as you can be able to speak to the dev herself if you want certain features to be added or other stuff, basically. Uh, because, again, Vignon is updating quite fast. There's a lot of features on the way. So, you know, support Superdrill and all that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll leave my social below. And yeah, have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!